I get this question quite a bit and I wanted to answer it here. The question is this, how can I, as a Christian, be a police officer? Well, I guess this answer, this question applies to those of you that are in the military and are believers too. And the answer, like most answers, comes from the Bible, right? So let's tackle this. We're gonna go right into Genesis. Just kidding. I know, boring Old Testament stuff. We're gonna be in the New Testament. We're gonna go into Romans chapter 13, and I'm just gonna hit it. The Apostle Paul says right here in chapter one, let everyone submit to the governing authorities. But what does that mean? Does that mean we have to free willingly give up our freedoms to the government? No, absolutely not. It continues and clarifies right here, continuing in verse one, since there is no authority except from God. Now, if you dissect just that first verse alone, people can say, well, I don't need to listen to the police or the military because the authority established by the government comes from God. Well, the answer is just that. God established these governments. Just like the 12-month calendar, uh, just like when the sun goes down and the moon comes up, that cycle was all created by God and the governments were created by God. It says so right here if we continue that the authorities that exist are instituted by God. So then, the one who resists the authorities opposing God's commands, and those who oppose it will bring judgment upon themselves. It says so right here. For as long as the world is going to have sinners, rapists, murderers, child molesters, thieves, we need to have agents of God in place to enforce his laws. And it's not a coincidence that his laws are the same laws established by, by most governments. Thou shall not kill, murder. So look, a lot of that stuff that you see on the news that the police officers do, the boneheaded cops, the ones that make the stupidest mistakes, that accounts for less than 1% of the police population in the country. And get this, for as many people as there are in the country, how many cops do you think there are? There are less than 1 million. Less than 1 million to police all the people in this country. So are we gonna do the job perfect? Absolutely not. Tell me who does do their job perfect. Doctors sure don't. As a matter of fact, no offense to doctors, doctors kill more people than police officers do a year. But look, nobody's asking for their accountability. It's the same thing as the reason why people don't wanna to submit to the authority of police because no one wants to. Nobody wants to be told they can't go down the hall without a hall pass. So who's it easier to point the finger to? Cops, right? Because we're essentially the hall monitors of the world. So check this out. Let's continue on. For rulers are not a terror to good conduct, but to bad. Do you want to be unafraid of authority? Then do what is good, and you will have its approval. Meaning, if you want to be on the good side of the cops, on the good side of the law, don't break the law. If you break the law, stand by. Stand by for what? Let's read on. For it is God's servant for your good. But if you do wrong, be afraid, because it does not carry the sword for no reason. For it is God's servant, an avenger that brings wrath upon the one who does wrong. It's spelled out here in the Bible. I'm not making this stuff up. So if you're asking me how I'm comfortable doing this job as a police officer, I can tell you this. I was called to do this job, just like many of my colleagues are. And are there some boneheads in our field? Absolutely. But we have some boneheaded teachers. We have boneheaded politicians. We have boneheaded doctors. And no one's pointing the finger at them, right? Why? Because they're not the hall monitors. Look, it's easy to ignore the truth and the way and the light. And it's easy to ignore authority. But what's not easy is following God's commands and submitting to authority. I hope that answers your questions. I was really excited to answer this one and I'm really gonna get excited about answering some of the other questions that you've submitted to me. But keep these questions coming. You can DM me or send me an email and I'll answer it right here for you guys.